How's it going? This is Hoyman and today we're taking a look at the Amiibo Fox figure. So this figure is obviously based on his illustration for Smash Brothers for Wii U. And for the most part, I think they pretty much nailed it. The pose and angle is pretty much identical to the illustration. And overall Nintendo did a really good job with this figure. So taking a look at the character's face, I feel that they've captured the likeness of Fox really well. It looks just like him from pretty much all angles. Texturing of his fur is really nicely sculpted. There's quite a lot of detail in between the strands of each fur. And then there's nice shading going on as well to really add some depth and bring out the details. And you can see some shading in the ears as well. And then the headgear is really nicely sculpted on. You can see all the panel linings. And there isn't really much shading on the headgear itself. So it's a bit inconsistent with the rest of his head. But it is nicely detailed for the most part. So you have the nice reds and then the nice mic here. And then of course you have the scouter which covers his eye. Which I think would have been nice if it was a translucent piece. And with some of the analyzing data in there just to kind of add a bit more detail but I can understand they didn't because that would increase the price and stuff so but in the end I still think it looks pretty decent and then the eyes are really nicely painted on as well but I will say there is a seam line that runs across his snout so it is a little bit off-putting but it isn't super noticeable Moving down to his outfit, really nicely sculpted. So you have the scarf in there as well as the zip. And then you have the nice jacket with all the different texturing and detail. And that goes across to the back as well. So you actually have the actual Star Fox logo, which is a nice glossy finish. But there is a bit of a paint smudge there, but it's not too bad. And then the jacket itself does have nice shading to bring out the depth and detailing in the folds and creases. So that's nice. And then his hands are nicely sculpted along with the gloves. Has the nice metallic buttons here. But the paint does transfer to the finger a bit. So it's a bit sloppy here and there. But for the most part, the paintwork is clean. And then just like the head, the fur on his arms does have texture as well, so that's nice. And that's the same for the tail, really nicely textured with all the fur. And then there's some darker shadings at the base as well to add a bit more depth. And then it blends to a nice white at the tip. So overall the tail looks very nice. And then you have his reflector. A nice metallic and glossy finish for it. Looks pretty nice for the most part. And then the legs themselves. Really nicely sculpted and detailed. And then you have the gun here as well. Again, very well sculpted. And then you have another Star Fox logo too. And then the shoes are really nicely sculpted as well. There's a lot of detailing going on. And there isn't really any shading on the shoe. So again, it is a bit inconsistent with the rest of the figure. But it isn't super noticeable. And then to finish it off, you have the Smash logo for the base, which is reminiscent from the game. And then for the bottom, you have legal stuff. So my final thoughts are, overall, this is a solid looking figure of Fox. Captures the pose of the illustration really well. Pretty much all the angles are accurate and the likeness to the character is really good as well. And there's a lot of detailing packed into this small figure to really represent Fox's character. And I feel that overall they did a really good job. The shading is a little bit inconsistent throughout the figure. And most notably in the legs and the shoes. Whereas the top half has a lot of shading. But like I said it isn't super noticeable. And for the most part I don't really have too much gripes with this figure. I guess the main gripe would be that the seam line on his snout is a bit noticeable. 
and then maybe some of the paintwork is a bit sloppy, but isn't too bad. And I suppose the two stands they used, I think I would have preferred if they were translucent rather than blue. Like, I'm not really too sure why they went with blue, but it doesn't really detract from the figure too much. So overall, I'd say this is a really good, accurate representation of the character. And if you are a fan of this character or the games, then I really highly recommend this figure. But that's my review. Thank you for watching and enjoy some pictures. Thank you.